friends this is kruti jay pancholi assistant professor in lg institute of engineering and technology in department of electronics and communication this video is about subject digital image and video processing so friends we are going to discuss regarding the video processing so in this video you will discuss about the introduction what is the aspect ratio image continuity various scanning technique basics of video and the compute composite video signal so friends very first what is about the video signal so question is what is a video signal a video signal which is captured by the video camera a video signal is a signal which is produced by the video adapter which allows a display device such as the computer monitor to display a picture the video signal that can be a time varying signal which is represented as i of x comma y comma t where x y are the spatial coordinate as we know about what is the image so image that is denoted by the f of x y and x y that was the spatial coordinate here in the video signal x comma y comma t where x y are the spatial coordinate and t which denotes the continuous time so it's a continuous time varying signal the video signal is a transmitted into out homes is a one dimensional signal which contains all the relevant information as we know that at our home the television receiver all that we can see the video signal and which come via the one wire so at that time what is it so when it is a transmitted and which comes to the home so it's a one dimensional signal and which contain all the relevant information so hence we have a single wire that comes from outside our homes and goes to the set top box which is directly into our television set so this way the video signal is the uh, type of the one dimensional signal which comes to our place how can we take the video signal for that the video camera is used a video camera it is basically a device which is designed to capture an image or a series of images over a period of time so video camera that it will use and it will convert the incoming light into an electrical signal and then the signal which is sent to the monitor for display or could be stored on a magnetic tape for the future viewing so this way the video camera is used second is the aspect ratio what is it the aspect ratio that is uh, the width to the height ratio as we know that the shape of the human eye so human eye okay that having the shape which is the rectangle shape so that is why we can be more suitable while we see the horizontally when we see we will will not the move our faces like this to see all the things but horizontally we can see better compared to the vertically so that is why the aspect ratio which is fixed at 4 jan 3 where 4 that is is equal to the width and 3 that is the height in the picture cinema this ratio that is double so it is the 16 jan 9 so this aspect ratio which is fixed at the 4 jan 3 ratio it gives the best viewing comfort and 
artistic appreciation are obtained when the picture has the artistic appreciation are obtained when the picture has the rectangular format so if you will see the eye okay and if you see the draw the line okay surrounded to our eye then we can see that the actually the shape of this that is the rectangular format why the curum fusion of our eyes that is the creature in the horizontal plane than in the vertical plane so the region of the maximum resolution at the center of the retina has a greater area along the width than the height now the next equation is about the image continuity while we process the image that's a still image okay and when all the still images okay when the all the still images okay that may be the formed okay so you can have when you are moving those still images or repeating the still images for the some time you can obtain the moving images so when the picture information is transmitted line by line we get the impression of the continuity the image that is the still images but it is repeated at a some rate so that our eye can so we see those pictures okay as a moving object so we get the impression of the continuity due to a phenomenon which is known as the persistence of the vision of the human eye so what is the persistence of the in, in uh, the uh, uh, eye mean while you have one object if you look at the one object for only the very small time okay then that picture will not create the impression on our eye but the same thing which should be repeated number of time then it will create the some information on our eye and it is known as the persistence of the vision the persistence of the vision that is the property of the human eye that any impression produced on the retina will persist for the one upon 16th of a second so one by 16th of a second okay if the picture will remain to the particular the part okay then it will create the persistence of the vision so the if uh, within the short interval of the persistence of the vision a series of the images are presented to the eye mean if the one picture is there okay for the 1 by 16th of a time okay it will create the impression now after that particular time okay when within that the 1 by 16th of a interval of a time the another picture will there then again it will create the impression of our eye so this way if the series of the images if the series of the images will be presented to our eye that i can see the particular images without any break so it is known as the image continuity so now for that we need to learn about the various scanning technique what is the scanning technique so scanning it's just like reading a book we know that we start reading the book from the left hand side and we reach to the right hand side so starting from the left hand side to the right hand side we start the reading now again one line is completed so you need to come to the second line mean beginning of the second line then you need to go to the end of the second line again beginning of the third line so this way we read the book so scanning is what so scanning is the process which is very similar to the reading the written information on the page which starting at the top left and end at the bottom so the scanning is also done line by line horizontally from the left to the right at a faster rate and vertically from the top to bottom at a slow rate 
so you have to complete the reading of the one page you are going to turn over the page you need to jump on to the second page and this way we can read all the information so here in the diagram you can see that how can we read the particular book so here you can see that we are going to start the reading from a start, start of the line to the end of the line so this the line where the information is there or any content is written on that it is known as the tracks now when the one line is completed you are moving to the beginning of the second line so there is no information while you jump from the end of the first line to the beginning of the second line so there is no information this portion is known as the the retrace portion so here in the the dark line okay they are what so it is the trace and the dotted line which is referred to as a retrace so by the use of the trace and the retrace we can read the particular the data so it is the scanning which is used in the television now the scanning that can be the two type that the scanning is the progressive scanning and the interlaced scanning the meaning of the progressive scanning that is we are going to start the reading of the line from the left hand side corner to the right hand side to the right to the again we going from the right hand side to the beginning of the second line beginning of the second line to end of the second line okay so this way we can complete the reading and then we need to again jump from the end of the first page to the beginning of the second page so this way it is known as the progressive scanning it takes the too much time to read all the data so can we reduce the time by using the some another procedure it is referred to as a interlaced scanning what is this the interlaced scanning in this the two sequence of the scanning for each frame so scanning line of a one sequence occur in between the line of the other sequence so the number in the i r number number of the line in this that are the 625 per frame and the blanking period for each particular sequence is the 20 lines so now in the figure will show the interlaced scanning the first sequence of the scanning will start from the left corner and end at the enter of the point enter of the bottom after completing 2921/2 lines so now the vertical retrace which start the scanning from the center of the bottom at the middle of the top which takes the 20 line so here you can see that the particular the interlaced scanning okay total lines in the particular the television that are the 625 i said that in the interlaced scanning we are dividing the fill mean the odd lines and the even line so now out of that 625 line the it is divided by 2 mean odd line and the even line so total line okay that are the 312.5 for one field and for the another field 312.5 line so this way the two field that are the odd field and the even field scanning alternately okay it will start and it will take the half of the time compared to the progressive scanning so here you can see that the line one scanning okay that can be done after that the line 2 line 3 line 4 and line 313 3. okay and then after the line 314 315 316 then 623624 and 625 so this way the odd field and the even field scanning that can be there in this 
So now here in the diagram again we can see that the how the odd field and the even field which is uh, divided okay and when the 3 1 2 point 5 when the end of the any one of the field okay what the cursor okay it will do it will again go from the bottom to the top so while you enter to the top okay what will happen the 3 1 2 point 5 is there so 3 1 2 point 5 okay from the 3 1 3 uh, 314 this way the scanning of the data that has been stuck so that what happened over here that the time that can be also reduced so we learn about the various aspects related to the video signal in the next video we will learn about the few more things related to the um, scanning technique okay so thank you very much everyone